musicians in Africa and Rwanda in particular decry a mismatch between invested efforts and profits they get out of music. More investment in the industry, such as construction of music schools, is according to them the way forward. This is after Gabon. This is like the first music school I saw, and I, I like. I'm on a path to like build music schools around Africa. Mm. Like if I could go to every country and build a music school, that's one of the projects I want, I'm working on. So when I heard like there was a music school in Rwanda already, I was like, wow. Like, By far this year, you're the second artist that has come out doing CSR projects, giving out $5,000 to a school out of nowhere in Rwanda. What does that necessarily mean for the music industry I mean, in the like, country? But it's not about the money. Like it's not about the money, of course. But I just like, I want to get more equipment, get more, hopefully build a studio so that the, the kids can record. Yeah. Very important they can record the music they make because it's not about just playing outside and hearing recording your music, memories, mixed memories. That's what I'm here for. Times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. The state of the music industry in Rwanda is actually at a good place right now. Um, what is actually lacking in, in, in this time is uh, the investors, the people who can actually invest in, in music so that we can get the, the music industry to where we'd like to get it at. The part we play as, as a school is to actually graduate professional musicians. People can play music live, people can actually record music live, people can produce music live using the latest technologies, right? So we get, we get, we, we get the, 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 the personnel ready. So now we just have to actually now merge or meet with the, with the investors so we can actually now do the thing right. Pretty much all we do is trying to get the things right. Yeah, we've seen it starting to come. Um, the market is not as demanding as it should be, but we see the impact we are having on the people in general. And the market have, have Market have have to have to task to catch up. Um, the bigger market has taken notice. They have, they have actually taken taken notice, and uh, those are some of the people that would like to. Uh, they're the, the biggest stakeholders. So um, once we start collaborating on a higher level, then uh, it will be a natural course. There is money. But as long as you do something good, you can have money. But, um, in Rwanda, it's a bit, a bit down, but in other countries, there is money. So now our target is to work uh, wo worldwide, not only in Rwanda. So we are now moving from local to um, international. Yeah. We are just trying. Uh, there are some people that are interesting, interested in uh, putting money in our business, uh, but uh, the number is still small. But we have hope that we will get more people getting in because uh, there are some big banks, um, other corporations that put money in music. It's a good thing. We have hope that one day we will have more people that can invest their money in our business. Uh, in Rwanda, we have a problem. We, uh, people consume music for free. So we have to try to change that thing before we, we, we start thinking about selling albums. So but we, um, I'm thanking the government right now because they, they just made a policy about that for, for the me media, some TVs, radios, um, everyone who's gonna use our music is going to pay. That policy is still new, but we, we need time to, um, to, uh, yeah, to adapt to it because some media don't understand uh, the advantage of that, but for us artists, it's co it's gonna serve us, yeah. and it's gonna bring money. And I and if Rwandans start buying music, so now the music is gonna be big. The Rwanda music industry is heading where the country is heading at. Yeah, we have to we have to move along with uh, with with the development of the country. We have no choice, which is why, like I said earlier. Marketing-wise, we teach music business here. We teach entre entrepreneurship. So we're getting people ready for the bigger market, right? So when it's going to hit, we'll have manpower, human power, right? Knowledge, skills, attitudes, all that together. 
So there's no skill gap, skills gaps in any, anywhere near the music sector. That's really what we are, we are doing. Now, is the market and the, the, in the industry ready right now? Not yet. It's really looking for itself. But when it's going to hit, we'll be here ready so we can actually... In Rwanda, a School of Arts and Music was established in 2014 to promote and professionalize the art industry in Rwanda. At the school, Davido held an interaction with aspiring artists in which he stressed that African musicians are as competent as their fellows in the rest of the world and only need to be passionate and confident about what they do. Let nobody tell you you can't make it. Let nobody... Let, let nobody tell you you can't make it. Let nobody tell you. Like one thing I don't do, I don't listen to people's opinions. If I make a song, I play it for you. You tell me you don't like it. If I like it, I'm going to put it out. Yeah. And I, I can't tell you how many songs I've done, which I've done. I do like, yeah, it's okay. I remember when I did Scale It, it said, ah, it's too playful. It's too, it's too playful. It's not a serious song. And then dropped it and just went yeah. worldwide. So apart from that, just make sure you love your craft, know what you do. Music, music is the only way out of Africa. Yeah. I feel like music is the only way out of Africa. We have so much, we have so much problems in Africa. Everybody knows that. But music is one thing. Once you just press play, everybody's smiling, right? So you have to know that you guys hold the key to the future of this country. Music is very, very important. Why does every country have a national anthem? Every nation has a national anthem. It's music. You know what I'm saying? When, when politicians want to campaign, who do they call? Musicians. When, uh, when they want to produce a movie, who do they call for a soundtrack? Musicians. So we hold the key to everything. And I'm so happy about this music school because um, I recently I visited Gabon like last year with the president. Um, and um, he, had a, he started a music school, Berkeley Music School. So I've seen this place. Like This is actually the first music school, apart from that music school that I attended, that I've been to. And I feel like, I feel like there are so many students that are in school and they, they don't want to learn math. <laughs> they don't want to learn science. People just want to learn music. So I feel like there should be more music schools around Africa. And next time I come back, of course, I want to see more people. I feel like there should be way more people that attend this school. So, um, yeah, just trust me, music is the way out. Music has been the way out for a lot of people, even the people I've helped. My artists, I have so many artists back home in Nigeria. They were on the streets doing nothing, basically. You know, and I saved them, took them out the street, and music saved them. So I feel like if music is your savior, keep going at it, keep going at it. Work together, very important. Work together. Create bands within yourselves, create groups, record music. Release your music. There's internet. All it takes for internet now, music is gone. So next time I come, I want to see more people. I want to hear music. I want to hear songs. And I know at least 10 of you guys will be superstars in Rwanda by the time I come back next year.